Well, hello everybody and welcome to this uh, Visual Basic tutorial video. This is uh, Lab 2 of Visual Basic. Um, th uh, this tutorial video we're going to actually do some numbers for this uh, second lab. Uh, if you never watched, um, if you don't know anything about Visual Basic yet, I highly recommend to go watch the um, Introduction to Visual Basic Lab 1 video in Artie's Tutorials. Um, highly recommend to watch that first before you uh, watch this clip. So in this in this tutorial video, we're going to actually do some numbers in Visual Basic. So right here, we're going to click on New Project. And by the way, I'm using Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express uh, to show these labs here. Alright, so we want to click on Windows Form Application, and we're going to rename this as Lab 2. And we're going to press OK. And this might take a while to generate. And here we go. Uh, this is Lab 2, already built. And here's our form window. So right now we're going to change the text on the form to be Lab 2. And now, what we're going to do today is we're going to actually put three list boxes and three different buttons. So we're going to come over here. We're going to put drop three three list boxes in the table. And I'll, I'll re definitely resize these later. I'll just put it one on the upper left, one on the upper right, and one down below the two. So this is list box one. So we're going to rename list box one as LST output. We're going to name the second one to be LST output two. And we're going to name the last one LST output three. What LST means, it means list. Uh, if you watched the first video, um, I explained about Hungarian notations, and LST stands for list. So we're going to be using STRs for strings, INTs for integers, and D DBLs for doubles. So this should probably fix it. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drop three buttons into the table, or the um, little window here. So we're going to go up to the buttons. We're going to drag three buttons down here. So this will be, um, we're going to rename this button as BTN Enter 1 and we're going to change the text Enter 1. So Enter first if you want to put that. So Enter first. And then we're going to drag another button to the table or the window. We're going to line up with that. And we're going to rename that button or the text to be uh, enter uh, second and we're going to rename the label to be BT BTN enter two okay and now last but not least we're going to do number three we're going to change the label to be BTN enter three and we're going to change the text to be enter third okay so now we have the list outputs uh, we're going to use three examples for each list output alright so we're going to double click end first what this will do is it will bring up a code window so basically this is my first button uh, private sub and sub for the first button now we're going to double click enter second go back to the other window double click the uh, second button and you'll have another set of coding and now do the same thing for the third button double click on that and we'll have three different little win like little sections of coding we have to do so we have btn enter one btn enter two and btn enter three so now our first example we're going to do is we're going to do stock amount for numbers so the first equation we're going to put into we're going to put DIM, that means that stands for declare, uh, DBL cost per share as double, and then set it to equal to 
25.625. And now we're going to do another declare. And we're going to put DBL number of shares as double. And that's going to equal 400. And now next we're going to do DIM uh, amount as double. Okay, so now we declared our variables. Uh, DBL, which is double cost per share, and double number of shares. What we're going to do after this is we're going to actually create an equation for this. And we're going to display it in the list output. So, and we set amount as the the answer. So this is going to show the total as amount. So now next, what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, amount equals, and then we're going to put double cost per share. So double click this, and this will be times double number of shares. So this is the actual equation that we're going to use. So amount will be uh, equal to double cost per share, which is 25.625 times double number of shares, which is 400. So now, next we have to list the output. So LST, the first output, dot items dot add and amount. So that will display the output. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Um, that was inappropriate. I apologize. I don't know why I typed that. Um, I guess that's a first timer for me. Um, yeah, by the way, make sure you spell it right. Um, list output dot items dot add amount. <laughs> wow. Um, so basically this will be the first equation for, um, for the, uh, the first output we're going to display. So we're going to test, actually test that right now. So we're going to press F5. And this little window will be generated. And here's our window. So if we enter first, this, uh, this list output will display our first answer. So if we click Enter First, that's the answer for uh, this equation here that we have. Uh, so double co per cost, um, uh, double cost per share. So 25.625 times 400 is this answer, 10,250 for the amount. That's a lot of money. Um, $10,250. So now next, what we're going to do is we're going to actually do the second button. So now again, we're going to do, we are going to do, uh, I believe, break even for this one as an example. So we're going to declare DBL tank filled. So this is probably a, a car equation here. We're going to do as double equals 23,352. Now we're going to put declare again. We're going to put DBL tank again as double. We're going to equal that to 23,695. And next we're going to do is we're going to do declare uh, DBL MPG miles per gallon as double. And now next what we're going to do, we're going to do the equation again. So DBL MPG equals, uh, we're going to do parenthesis, uh, DBL tank again minus DBL tank filled. I'm going to put that close parenthesis and we're going to divide that by 14. And now we're going to display the output. So LST dot output two dot items dot add. So make sure I spell that right again. Uh, it will be DBL MPG. Now, if we're going to run that, we're going to run that, <clears throat> or you can press F5. So enter the first one. Now, I think LST output two is the second window that we just did here. So now if you're under second, 24.5 miles per gallon. 
So that's how you calculate um, miles per gallon in an equation. Now, the next uh, example that we're going to do, we're going to do uh, gas mileage. We're going to calculate gas mileage in the third example, the list output 3. All right, so now we're going to go back to the cone window. And we're going to actually now declare, let me make sure I'm on the right page here, yep. So declare uh, DBL fixed costs as double. That's going to set that equal to 5,000. And we're going to declare another uh, variable here. We're going to do DBL price per unit as double. Now we're going to set that equal to 8. Next, we're going to do declare uh, DBL costs per unit. Oop, make sure I don't put any spaces in there. As double equals 6. And then next we're going to do, we're going to do declare uh, double break even as double. So that's going to define our answer equation. Now we're going to do the the answer again, so break even. So we're going to do the, write out the equation. Uh, it will be DBL fixed costs divided by in parenthesis, put DBL price per unit minus DBL uh, cost per unit, and then close parenthesis. So that's the equation for that one. Now we have to list the output. So list output three dot items dot add, and it will be double break even. So that will display our answer. So that's how you calculate gas um, gas mileage for the third example. So let's let's run that and test it. So we're going to enter first. Again, that's 10,250 for the first example. Enter the second one, that's 24.5 miles per gallon, and enter the third. So it would be 2,500 to break even point for the third example. So that's how much gas mileage you'll ha or, uh, be running uh, when you, you, you uh, do the price per unit divided by the cost per unit you'll get the break even point which is 2500 miles per gallon in your car so what we just did in this lab we just basically um, gave some number example I just gave you some number examples and equations uh, written out in Visual Basic now if you just do one lab, basically you'll just have just one private sub and end sub for each example. But I just showed you some three examples. Um, each little code, sec private sub, end sub section is basically the buttons. And we display it in different list output windows. So I hope you guys like this tutorial on numbers and equations for Visual Basic uh, for lab two. If you guys have any questions or concerns about any of this stuff for numbers and equations, uh, let me know, uh, you know, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all later.